denizens of planet Peaceland, you have failed to surrender the Ultraminium orbs to me as I demanded. A power this great does not belong in the hands of the feeble-minded. Since you refuse to give up the orbs to the Rayblood, they will be destroyed along with your planet. The Earth has been in a state of peace for over 30 years now. No giant monsters, no alien invasions, and no Ultraman spottings. Because of that, funding is seized for any sort of Earth defense agencies. The last known one, Team Meteor, was disbanded many years ago, apparently. But while mostly everyone has let their guard down, we still stand ready for any sort of threat to the Earth. Who are we, you may be asking? Well, we're a freelance organization known as the Monster Prevention Program. We stand ready at any moment to protect our planet from anyone or anything. Now, let me introduce you to our crew. There's our courageous leader who started the organization, Tyler. He works hard every day Are to make done? sure that our organization keeps on running. Stop. Stop. Second in command to him is Kylie. She's always Hi. looking out for us. Oh, and there's Jason, hard at work in some research. Next, we have Connor. He may seem like a bit of a stick in the mud at times, but he's really got his heart in the right place. Should I even ask what you're doing? Come on, Connor. I'm just trying to get some good video for a website. I really think people will start taking us more seriously once they see all the hard work we're doing to make sure everyone stays safe. I hope that you understand that even if a monster were to show up, we're in no place to try and defend the planet. Well, hey. What about those blasters I finished developing last week? You mean these ones? The ones that malfunction and refuse to fire? How's it coming? That heat source just keeps getting stronger and stronger, but I don't see how this could be any kind of monster, though. You haven't seen one, have you? A monster? 
just pictures of the ones online from years and years ago, but not in real life. They could show up anywhere, anytime. I heard they could show up from oceans, space, other dimensions. You can never really be too safe when it comes to monsters. Sure, this intense of a heat source could just be some random tectonic activity, but I've got a hunch it's more than just that. If you say so. You called for me, sir? Zone, something has been troubling the council as of late. What is it? You recall the planet Earth, correct? Of course. You should also recall that during your time there, you were able to acquire one of the Ultraminium orbs. Yes, as well as the second one at the Monster Graveyard. When you were jettisoned from your home world of Peaceland, we were inclined to believe that you were the only thing to survive its destruction. However, it would also appear that the Ultramania orbs were launched from the planet as well, so that one day, you may use them. There were eight orbs in total. Vortexa, Nebula, Prisma, Celestia, Iniquita, Lunaria, Spectria, and Thundaria. You possess the Vortexa and Iniquita orbs currently. We are unsure of where most of the other orbs have gone, or who they could be with. However, we have learned there was a second orb to land on Earth. Monsters will be drawn to its energy and alien invaders will do anything to get their hands on it. So you want me to go there and try to retrieve the orb? Yes. You're the only surviving Peace Landian zone, making you the only one of us in the Land of Light who is capable of containing its power. I'll do anything I can to keep that planet safe. It's great to hear that. However, we advise that you try and retrieve the orb as quick as you can. Why is that, sir? Knowledge of the orb's presence on the planet has spread throughout the galaxies at a rapid rate. We fear word of it has reached to the Cult of Rayblood. The Cult of Rayblood? To say that Rayblood was considered a god of a being is to understate the power he once possessed. He learned of the Ultraminium orbs being forged on your homeworld and would do anything to get his hands on them. However, the Peace Landians were prepared for anything that would try to take the orbs from them and isolated themselves from any outsiders. So, Rayblood was left with only one option, destroy the orbs if he couldn't have them so others couldn't use them against him. After using all of his energy to destroy Peaceland, he was reduced to a spiritual form, completely incapable of doing any true harm. However, since that day, many races of aliens have begun to worship Rayblood as a deity of sorts. He has promised them mercy from his power as long as they acquire the Ultraminium orbs for him. The alien bat you fought at the monster graveyard was just one of these followers. What happens if he's able to acquire all of the Ultraminium orbs? He would become an unstoppable being capable of ruling the entire universe. I won't let that happen. I won't let the entire universe suffer the same fate that my home planet did. We wish you luck, Zone Fighter. Sophie, should we have told him about... Him? They will meet at some point, and he will prove to be an obstacle in his mission. But I have faith that perhaps he could come back to us one day. Just as Zone was able to learn, I believe that he can as well. Kylie! What do we got? That heat source is moving faster and faster. It'll be here any minute. Everyone get set! This could be it! Distance to surface, 80 meters. 60, 20, it's right on top of us! That's 
bigger than I expected. About time it showed up. Ooh, this is gonna make great footage for our website. Okay, everyone get back. All right, everyone, let's not get carried away. Connor, try and get that blaster working and unload on it. May, you can get some footage, but please keep at a safe distance. Kylie and Jason, look through the records and try to figure out what this thing is. Blasters work. We've got something. It's called Damaga, an ancient subterranean monster made from molten iron. Is there a weak point somewhere? Uh, uh, it says those orange crystals are the source of its firepower. Try and aim there. What now? Like I said before, we're in no shape to fight a monster. Look, all right, we'll follow behind it so that we're out of its line of fire. Afterwards, we can figure out what we're gonna do to help. Well, I don't want to toot my own horn or anything, but I just saved your life. Wait, 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 you saved my life? Who are you? Where are you? Where am I? All right, pal, one question at a time. You were just about to be burnt to a crisp by that monster's attack. I gotta give you props, though. Pushing your friend out of the way and taking it yourself? Dumb. But kind of brave. Crap, that's right. So, in order to save you, I bound our two bodies together. What do you mean, like, some Siamese twin kind of bonding? Uh, not exactly. I'm an Ultraman known as Zone Fighter. What's that? 
You... You don't know what an Ultraman is? I mean, it sounds familiar, but I've never really seen or heard about one. Oh, that's awkward. Well, uh, you're a man, right? I sure hope I am. Well, now you're just... Ultra. I... What? You'll understand in a second. For now, take this. Whoa, whoa, what's this? This is the peace symbol. It was a symbol from my home world, but now it's representation of our bond. Uh, yeah, you never really did explain that. Um, what bond exactly? We're going to protect this planet together. I don't really get how we're gonna... Come on, let's do this. Wait, I didn't sign up for this! Is that a real Ultraman? Just on time, I'd say. Incredible. What's going on? Why am I up in the air? We've united our bodies into one fighting force. And now, we're gonna take that monster down. What? I never imagined I'd see one in real life. I was hoping I'd never have to see another one. What are you talking about? This is so cool! These shots are gonna look so good! Alright, I, I gotta admit, this is kinda cool. Feels nice to truly protect the peace of this planet, doesn't it? You've been here before? Well... I'll have to explain that later. We're kind of in the middle of something right now. What's happening? Us Ultramen can only fight on Earth for a short amount of time before we run out of energy. We've got to finish this quickly. Let's do it. Felt really good, actually. I can't believe we fought a monster, and we won. We sure did. Hey, I never got your name, by the way. Uh, it's Jason. Well then, Jason, there's a lot that we have to discuss, but we can talk later. In the meantime, if you guys are ever in a pinch, just use that emblem like earlier, 
That'll activate our bond and we'll become one once again. <laughs> Sounds like a plan, zone fighter. thought you, when the monster attacked, you, well, that Ultraman saved me, actually. What? No way! What, what happened? What was it like? He just saved me, I guess. I don't really know what happened, but I'm alive, I guess. <laughs> That's amazing. I did learn his name, though. He's called Zone Fighter. Zone Fighter. <gasps> what is that on your arm? I asked him for something to wear to honor him, you know. I mean, he did kind of save my life. <laughs> that's interesting. Oh my god, that's, that's amazing. You've got the symbol of an Ultraman on your own freaking arm. You know what? This would make a great logo for our organization. Yeah, I could put it on our website and everything. Well, we're all glad you're alive and well, Jason. Let's go home. returned for the Ultraminium. Who has, Master? The Peacelandium. He must be destroyed. Not to worry, Master. For I have a weapon up my sleeve that will be sure to destroy him. All I need is a bit of time. I want no trace of that Peacelandian to be left. Not to worry, Master. When I'm through with him, there won't be a shard of his color timer to be seen. And all the Ultraminium will be yours. I've come to this planet because you harbor an intergalactic vigilante because of his crimes against numerous alien races. An immense bounty has been placed on his head. I will give him 30 minutes before I use less preferred methods of bringing him to me. 